Hey there, Erin Chase here from $5 Dinners, and this is my weekly dinner made easy show, except we're not making dinner tonight. Unless you're planning on having guacamole for dinner while you're watching the Super Bowl on Sunday, you're totally allowed to do that, because I probably will be. So we're making homemade guacamole. I love avocados. I eat them, I don't want to say daily, but it's pretty close, like six days a week. Love them, love them, love them. We're going to talk about homemade guacamole, a couple different ways to do that. But first, we need to welcome our live viewers. So if you're catching the replay slide, it forward about 30 seconds or a minute. We are going to say hello to our friends who are here live. I want you to tell me this. Who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? It's Sunday. You're probably not rooting for anybody unless you live in one of those cities, right? And I'm going to tell you who I'm rooting for in just a second. It might surprise you, although it might not. Um, I'm really excited to be doing homemade guac today. This is like party food. And I have on my bright pink and the bright orange there on the video. Like, this is party food. And we're going to talk. Uh, how, like, have you made guacamole before? I have distinct memories of my dad making guacamole when we were kids. And I just love it so, so much. So Melissa's not watching football. Hey there. Hey, Trisha. I will probably be around. I don't know that I'll be watching the game. We're going to be having like a kid's party over here. So I'm certainly going to be making a giant bowl of this delicious. And then we're going to, um, I don't know, I'll be floating around. I'm not sure how much of the game I'll actually watch. I'm really in it for the commercials and I'm in it for this guacamole. Tanisha, you might not want to stick around then because this is all about guacamole today. Uh, but if you're curious to make it, like if you want to make it for a party or for other people, we're going to be making it today. So uh, please like, share um, this video. Also, before we get started, I need to tell you, I actually have it in the slow cooker. Um, salsa chickens in the slow cooker, which actually ends up pairing really nicely with the guacamole. That was not on purpose, by the way. I like to think I'm a meal plan planner extraordinaire. And every now and then, like, the magicalness happens between what I'm doing here on our, our Facebook page and what is cooking in my slow cooker. So we are having salsa chicken with guac tonight for dinner. And here's um, what I want to share. The, the Zaycon Fresh uh, 99 cents a pound if you're a new customer. I did a live video about this last week. I sent an email out about it yesterday. Oh my goodness, you guys, I cannot even believe that they're doing this. I, I think they're getting to the end, like they're close to selling out. I haven't heard a final number yet um, from one of their team members, but it's getting there. So if you're new to Zaycon Fresh and you want to try it out, this is the chance to try it. If the whole like 40 pounds of chicken at once thing scares you, there's a whole video here where we kind of walk through how to um, do that. And we're going to be doing a dump dinners challenge here soon, and that's perfect for these kinds of meals. Steffi, you and me both, girl. I totally eat my weight in guacamole. I'm going to see how big of a bowl I can make here um, in just a sec. So don't forget about that deal. It's going on right now. It's supposed to expire on Friday. No, what's today? Thursday, Friday, if not before. So just be aware of that. All right, switching gears. You guys see that Okay. Here's the magic. This is the magic right here. Now, how to choose a, guac uh, a guacamole. Oh, my word. How to choose an avocado. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side just a second. That's what we need to talk about first. So I am super particular. I we've On occasion, we'll get the store-made guacamole um, for convenience, and sometimes I'll get those little uh, the dippers that you can use. It's really more of a convenience thing. It kind of depends on the meat, but I prefer to make my own. And uh, that means you got to know how to pick your avocados, right? Melissa, thank you. I think the deal expires on Friday. I'm pretty sure it's Friday. So what you want to be able to do, I'm going to see if I can do this. That's not really in focus. Come on, camera. You want to be able to push in. Can you guys see my thumb doing that? I'm sorry. It's my, it, the, the camera's catching what's underneath of my hand in focus. Can you guys see that? You want to be able to press, you can see the dent that I just made. Just, you don't want, you, you want to give it a squeeze. You want to be able to press in just slightly. If you squeeze it and there's absolutely no movement, it's not, it's going to be days, two, three, four, even five days before the avocado is ripe. Thankfully, they had some ripe ones when I was at the store. I'm grabbing this this afternoon and it, it's perfect. You can just give it a little bit of a dent. You also don't want it to already be dented because if it's already dented, that probably means there's a brown spot. I am making these dents right now. It's probably okay. It's going to be okay to use. All right. So that's how you choose a ripe avocado. How to cut them. There are a number of different ways you can cut them. I'm going to move this. Hang on. You can use something like this. I don't typically, but I have one. Um, this is nice because... 
I'll show you how this works. This will take the seed out for you really nicely. Uh, so, and this also will cut the skin, take the seed out, and then slice. You can see the three, one, two, three of an avocado. I don't tip, I have one. I thought I would use it. I honestly, I don't. Um, but if you're, if you're not super comfortable with a knife, um, or my kids could use this because this is plastic right here. Um, but it's sharp enough to cut through the skin here, right? So the kids, maybe the kid, this is a good kid, kid friendly gadget. Um, so anyways, Jessica girl, I'm with you. I prefer to make my own. So how I do, do avocados is I just slice uh, along the, you guys help me out, latitude, longitude, not the equator, the other way around. What is that? I can't, I'm blanking. It's pretty good. That's a pretty decent one. Tiny little brown spots, but nothing that's not going to be awful. All right, so we just slice it open this way. And a lot of times, I will just eat it like that, right? So you can just... This is actually one of my favorite snacks, and maybe I'll even have some right now. Um, this is like... I'll just do this. I'm just going to have one here in a minute. I won't do, eat it while we're on live, but, um, Sue, you got one too for Christmas? Okay. This is how, this is like my, one of my favorite afternoon snacks. Just lemon juice, just enough to kind of coat it. A pin, literally a pinch of salt or less than a pinch. Really? That wasn't even a full pinch. And then if you have grapefruit spoons that have that, uh, serrated edge, it's perfect for like kind of mixing this up. Of course, you could use a fork. I just like to use my grapefruit spoons because they're always right there because we have grapefruits all the time right now, being winter, right? I just eat it like that. All right, I'm going to leave this over here for later. So that's one way. How to get the seed out. Okay, we sliced it longitudinally. Thank you, Mickey I'm, I'm, or Denise. I'm glad you know these things. Um, <laughs> this, if you're using this, you just do this, right? And twist it and it'll come out. I don't want to do that though. I want to show you how to do it with a knife because seriously, you guys, I'm not kidding. So we joke in our family, my mom, she doesn't like me telling these types of stories, but I have to because it's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it's funny. Um, so really fast, let me tell you this quick story. Um, so my, um, the, the joke in our family is that the cooking skipped a generation. It went from my grandma down to me and cause my mom just, she, she likes to cook for holidays. She's an excellent cook. She just doesn't like to do it on the daily. She doesn't spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Um, and so I caught her, um, doing this and I'm going to show you just so you don't do it. I caught her doing, I'm not kidding. She had it in her hand like this and she was trying to stab it down. You can't see all of my knife here. She was trying to do that. And what's going to happen when you try and do that? Oh my gosh. I will like, I think I like shriek, squealed, screamed all in one noise when I saw it. It's like, no, 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 no. So don't do that because you will stab yourself. She almost did because the, this is, this is wet and the knife will slip and you'll stab yourself. So don't, don't do that. Um, you do this, you go down ways like this. You see that? You're not going to stab yourself when you do that. You got it? You tracking with me? All right. So this is how you remove the seed and just twist. I got to get a little deeper there. Twist. Okay. And then I just pop it off into the trash can. The trash can is not right here, but I got to get it out. All right. So slice it open longitudinally. There we go. I popped it off. Okay. And then take the seed out this way, right? All right. Now the fun begins. I'm going to do these faster now, I promise. Thanks for sticking with me. So now we're going to scoop, and I usually just use a fork because I'm going to mash with the fork as well. If you need to pick out, there's a little brown spot right there. If you need to pick that out, just scoop it out. Huh, beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, here's why I like avocado. They're loaded with healthy fat. They're filling and they're delicious, except for, I, I, I remember somebody, um, let's see, who said they didn't like guacamole? Tanisha doesn't like guacamole. Maybe you like avocado. Again, I like to eat it straight. And I have another trick to show you in a second. This is how I do 
uh, guacamole. If I'm going to cut this off for a salad, let's say I want to do chunks, I'll show you how I do that too. Some people will remove all the flesh and then slice it like that. I learned how to cut Dominican uh, or avocados in the Dominican Republic. So I do this in my hand. You have to be very careful. You have to be good with knives. You have to have good knife skills. Don't do this unless you're confident. But I just slice it in inside like this. If I'm going to do like chunks for a salad, but you have to be paying really close attention and you have to not put too much pressure. The avocado flesh is super soft. It's very sliceable, but you just don't want to get, you don't want the knife to give through that skin. That's how I do for a salad. And then you just kind of wiggle it out and then you can spoon it out. Okay. So that's that. Hi love, do you need some water? All right. Last trick I want to show you real quick before we finish making this. So there's three key ingredients in, in guacamole. And then you can jazz it up with others. You can see I have more than three here. I have cilantro, I have red onion, garlic, lime. But there's three like must-have ingredients. And we're going to talk about those. Tell me if, what your favorite mix-ins to guacamole are. We'll talk about all of them. There's so many, really. But I want you to tell me your favorites. The way you're typing those in. Here's another way you can do. This is my friend Will uh, from affordanything.com taught me this. We were um, hanging out at an event and um, he did this. And I was like, what? Okay, you just, it has to be ripe and you just mash it inside the skin. So you have to be careful not to crack the skin like I just did right there. <laughs> but, but anyways, the idea is to mash it up and then you can slice it open and eat it out of the skin as well. Like we like how I like to do for my snacks. I didn't get that all the way sliced. You tracking with that? That's pretty clever, right? Then you have it already all mashed up and ready to go. Just add my salt and my lemon juice and it's ready to go. So that's a fun option. Or you can just go like this. Squeeze it right in there. It's That's riskier. you got to really know your avocados. You, you know it doesn't have a bunch of brown spots. The risk in that one is if it has brown spots, then I'm going to work. Tomato, jalapeno, neither of which I have right here, you guys. I love it. I love those mix-ins. Sour cream, too, is another great option. Um, if you want to make it a little bit creamier, you could do sour cream or even Greek yogurt. Would be good, too. I've seen that. Um, but my, I think the core, if I were to pick three ingredients, it would be this. Avocado, lime, and cilantro. Or avocado, lime, and salt. Cilantro, raise your hand if you like cilantro. And by raise your hand, I mean hit the heart button or the like button. Raise your hand if you like cilantro. Did you know... Sorry, I thought that was in the middle there. Did you know that there's actually a gene that... If you don't like cilantro and you think cilantro tastes like soap, there's like a gene. They've identified a gene. I know. I can't cut them right now. Just a minute, okay? Okay, just a minute. They've identified a gene for people who think, like my one of my good friends, Erin, she thinks that, not me, Erin, a different Erin, my friend Erin, she thinks that cilantro tastes like soap. And it's there's some like genetic like gene that your taste buds read the, the flavor of cilantro as soapy which is like crazy to me because cilantro is like the furthest thing from soap ever in flavor so if you're one of those soapy cilantro people i'm sorry about that steffi me too i think steffi you and i would probably want to stick our uh chips in the same guacamole bowl from what it sounds like lots of lime yes all right so lime i also have here garlic and red onion i'm gonna add a little bit of that my kids don't like the chunky uh, they don't like the chunky, uh, what do you call it? Guacamole. So they don't like the tomatoes. And so I tend to make it sort of on the simpler side, if you will. So I usually do one lime for every three avocados. So I need to get a little more avocado in here. It's going to be too limey. So you think about that. One lime for every three avocados. Sounds about right. Salt to taste. My husband likes less salt. I like more salt. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to take a chunk of this cilantro and run my knife through it. If you have a pizza wheel, a pizza wheel is great for running your uh, running through this, but I'm just going to run my knife. I don't need these to be super small pieces. It's so easy. I'm just 
smells lovely. I can smell the cilantro like as I'm approaching it at the store. It's awesome. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bunch like that. And then we're going to do a little bit of this red onion. Just a little bit. I'm not going to use the whole thing. And I need to get one more uh, avocado in here. And then salt to taste. One other ingredient that I, I think would be... Um, St Stephanie, oh my goodness, Steffi and Stephanie, you, the three of us are like on the same wavelength on that one. Garlic and guacamole are life. I would, what about bacon? Bacon too? All right. So I'm just going to scoop this one out. No brown spots. After you start buying these and picking them out on the regular, you get real good at figuring out which ones are going to be perfectly ready for walk or for eating right out of the shell or the skin. All right, so we're gonna just mix this up. All right, for those of you who are on a low carb diet, keto, paleo, Whole30, any of those types of diets, guacamole is such a great food because when it qualifies for all those things, it's high in fat, it's low in carbs, and it's filling. That's probably, I tend to eat towards Whole30. I'm not a purist uh, by any means, but I tend to eat towards that, and that's why I eat a lot of guacamole or avocados because I want and crave the fat, and I want and crave the filling as well. So that's what we have thus far. All right, hatch chilies is a great idea. What is this? Um, is this a treat? Here we go. Hang on, guys. I gotta help my little man here. He's uh, he's here with me. All my other people are out and about. All right. Open the sauce. Okay. We also have this red onion. I'm gonna add in just a little bit. I'm gonna get it pretty finely chopped so my my kiddos don't complain. Uh, and then ground cumin. So I know I said three ingredients, but really ground cumin is pretty essential too because it adds just a touch of smokiness. You don't need a lot of it, just a couple dashes. It makes the world of difference in the flavor. Here's a couple. Let me, let me share a couple of other mix-in options with you. Cody sneezed. Uh-oh, Cody sneezed. Huh. Okay, that's, that's so open for you. Here's a couple other options. If you don't want to cut up an onion, just add like a tablespoon of this. If you don't want to deal with fresh garlic, you can add in just garlic powder. If you want to, if you don't want to do fresh limes, use one of the lemon or lime juices. I prefer lime with avocado, but lemon works just as well. The other great thing about the lime and lemon is the acidity keeps this uh, fresher and keeps it from browning as well. We'll talk about storing avocado or guacamole in just a minute. This will be the last one I do. I'm going to just do a couple dashes of the ground cumin just to give it that Tex-Mexy smoky flavor. You don't want this to overpower anything. You want that lime to come through. The salt will bring up the lime flavor. The salt will also bring up a little bit of that smoky cumin as well. All right, so back to what I was saying about the paleo, Whole30, keto, low-carb concept. My favorite uh, way to eat this because if you're whole 30 or paleo or keto or low carb or atkins or whatever tortilla chips are not on your list of approved so foods much. is it okay so you can't eat this with with tortilla chips which is super sad um, because tortilla chips are just the perfect crunch and so i would recommend if it's permitted on your regimen plantain chips which you can get fairly cheap. I know near us, Trader Joe's sells them. I know when I get them, they last a while when I do buy them. I don't buy them often, um, but they last a good while. Um, and the other thing that I really like to eat this with is carrot chips. So, if I have any, I probably don't think I do. I guess I thought I had bought some for this week, but for lunch boxes. But I guess I have baby carrots are also an option as well. But the carrot chips are the ones that come sliced already, 
uh, by the, in their, their crinkle cut, I think, kind of like a French fry. And they just, they have the crunch, they have the same crunchiness as the, like the tortilla chip would. Um, but it's carrots. And so you're eating basically carrots with guacamole. It's actually pretty fantastic. So if you're looking for an option, try that. If you're looking to cut out carbs or grains, I'd recommend that. I'll save that onion for something else. I'm just going to use a little bit of this. I don't even think I'm going to use all this. I'll just use that much. I will save that for something else later this week. Okay. And that's that. Other ideas. We've talked about tomatoes. We talked about jalapenos. We talked about hatch chilies. Here's a fun twist. I have this re two recipes actually here on the video. So we're finished in a minute. You can go check those out. Adding a touch of sweetness with fruit is a fantastic option for these get for this type of a thing. So really small cut, uh, cut up ripe avocado is a great idea. I'm sorry. Did I just say avocado because I meant mango? Um, small ripe mango is a great mix in with this right here. Also small ripe pineapple small and by small, I mean cut up small <laughs> this is what I mean by that. Um, pineapple, I even think tiny chunks of apple mango are really fantastic. It just adds a little tiny pop of sweetness that goes nicely with the, um, the saltiness and just the creaminess of the avocado. And again, tortilla chips, pita chips. This is great also with like toast and egg for like a super hearty breakfast, like a whole wheat piece of bread, spread this avocado or this guacamole on a fried egg. Uh, right on top. So good. That is what you call like a power breakfast right there. So that's another fun way to use up this guacamole. I, on the other hand, will just eat it right out of the bowl <laughs> with my carrot. I'll use baby carrots because that's what I have or plantain chips or tortilla chips. And let's see, I'm trying to think other ideas. Oh, hatch chilies. We mentioned sour cream. Super easy to make this super personal and fantastic and then salt it to taste. Also, no, don't over salt it because if you're eating with tortilla chips, you will have a little bit of salt. Um, I typically, when I am going to salt and pepper, here's a little tip for you. We'll end with this. When I'm going to salt and pepper something like this, that's in a larger bowl that I'm not sure I will typically just do a sprinkled layer all across the whole thing. So even if I have like a big bowl of like, let's say macaroni salad, right? So I've made the macaroni, I've mixed, chopped everything up, we've tossed it all together with the dressing, and I need to add a little salt, I'll just do a real sprinkle thin layer across the whole top of it and just toss it all together. That's my rule of thumb for salting uh, big kind of batches in a bowl. So hopefully that's helpful for you. That's what I know about homemade guacamole. We will be having our Super Bowl Party, I guess it's gonna be a party. Um, the kids' party is not starting right now. I'll just ring. Um, the kid party is gonna be happening at our house on Sunday, so we will be um, making and eating this guacamole. And I am cheering. I told you I was gonna tell you. I'm cheering for the guacamole. I'm not cheering for the Patriots. I'm not cheering for the Eagles. I think that's who's playing. I'm cheering for the guacamole. All right, that's what I know. I'll see you guys on Sunday for our five minute meals show. This is our dinner made easy show. Next week will be a dinner again. Thanks for bearing with me as we did our appetizer homemade guac. I hope this was helpful and I will see you again soon.